Welcome back to the second hour of World Crisis Radio. Webster Tarpley in Washington, D.C., directing your kind attention as ever to uh, tarpley.net. We finally have the uh, video, I believe, of my lecture, at least the first part, uh, about a half, I think, of the lecture I gave in San Diego in the summer of 2007 concerning Pearl Harbor, which was an issue which came up uh, with the anniversary, and indeed, as we look forward to 2011, December 7th, 2011, will be the 70th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. So uh, we better gear up for that one, because the Roosevelt haters will be out in force, and it's therefore important to uh, to assert historical truth against these uh, very partial, narrow, self-interested, and uh, fundamentally dishonest critiques coming from uh, Stinnett, but then from the rest of them. Uh, the Roosevelt hater is going all the way back to the event itself. So tarpley.net. And of course, <laughs> given the holiday season, uh, if you want to solve your Christmas gift problems, you ought to do so at tarpley.net. Go and buy those distinguished books. Obama, the Postmodern Coup, The Making of a Manchurian Candidate, very timely now. The uh, Barack H. Obama, the unauthorized biography, almost nothing that's come out since uh, he took power has uh, has gone beyond what is uh, spelled out there in that book. And, of course, Surviving the Cataclysm, Your Guide to the Worst Financial Crisis in Human History. That is the indispensable guidebook for the uh, terrible uh, economic depression that we're now in. And don't forget, uh, 9-11 Synthetic Terror made in USA as before the uh, definitive work on the role of those drills, which is actually how this was done. The exercises and the drills. Take a look at uh, the uh, Valkyrie movie with Tom Cruise if you want to get some insights into uh, how drills can be used to uh, to do an operation, because ultimately that's what Stauffenberg did. He took the existing Operation Valkyrie, rewrote it, got it approved by Hitler himself, as you see in the movie, and then used that to try to organize a coup and came pretty close, uh, winning uh, historical merit in the process. A couple of uh, uh, things left over from our first hour. Concerning Afghanistan, it's now clear it's going to be 2014, as uh, George Will writes. Uh, well, this is Will DeShill, of course, here in the Washington Post on Thursday, December 16th. He says, over the past year, since Obama's West Point speech, 2011 has been quietly eclipsed by 2014 as the decisive date. That's when we'll finally get the decision to do something uh, and presumably to uh, to begin departing. But don't hold your breath. So from 2011 to 2014, will the left liberals sit still for this? Is there an anti-war movement anywhere? Uh, one would think not. 12-12 uh, last year, on December 12th, uh, a group of friends organized a uh, an anti-war rally in Lafayette Park across from the White House. This was the answer to the infamous, despicable policies of aggression against Pakistan that were clearly announced and adumbrated by Obama in his West Point speech of the first week of December, a year ago now. Uh, but an organized anti-war movement, we just don't don't see one. The foundations have cut off their funding, uh, and these people are as scarce as hen's teeth. These days, as a matter of fact, what passes for an anti-war movement might be Will the Shill. Will the Shill is opposed to the Afghan War from a right-wing reactionary point of view. But uh, there it is. Uh, he's to the left of Obama, I guess, on this issue in terms of being a warmonger. And uh, interesting column by Will: a Tet in Afghanistan. Then we're talking the Tet Offensive of uh, January, February 1968 by the North Vietnamese forces against the uh, U.S. invaders in South Vietnam. And um, we're reminded of the tremendous political impact of the Tet Offensive. And what Will then notes is he's he's speculating, given the uh, political sophistication of the the Taliban, and let me just interject, uh, the Taliban actually say, in response to the death of Holbrook, they say all, all these imperialists or all these infidels, I guess they would say, uh, have been scheming to attack our country and they will all die in the process. They won't succeed. They'll be dead before they succeed. 
So uh, Will, uh, writing a similar uh, point of view on the sophistication of the uh, of the Taliban, they're not as smart as uh, Ho Chi Minh, but they do know that the center of gravity is U.S. public opinion. And then Will asks the following question, quote, might the Taliban's tactics, techniques, and procedures in military argo TTP make possible a spike in violence in some way comparable to Tet in its impact on American opinion? No one knows this or how another attack on America, perhaps launched from Yemen, might affect public support for what are explained as prophylactic operations in Afghanistan. It was the story that you're there because you're presumably stopping terror attacks in the United States. Uh, So liberals, (laughs) then Will gloats, liberals watching the extension of the George W. Bush, Bush tax rates, the continuation of Bush's creation at Guantanamo, and the escalation of Bush's war in Afghanistan are increasingly dyspeptic. Well, make it apoplectic, uh, but uh, doesn't amount to anything because they're impotent. Now, the other, the other opposition to Obama, here it is. It's Ken Cuccinelli, the reactionary, who is the uh, attorney general of Virginia, and with the help of a, of a real odious reactionary, Henry Hudson, a former attack prosecutor uh, and special, uh, specialist in political witch hunts, was brought in, and uh, he's now a federal judge, thanks to Bush the Younger. So uh, Henry Hudson has declared the individual mandate in the Obama health bill unconstitutional. And I'm sorry to have to say uh, that credit goes to Cuccinelli and to Henry Hudson, because it is unconstitutional. And again, uh, this is like uh, so much in our time, right? You have to say gold is where you find it. And if you hold out for people that are morally pure, you are going to be waiting a long time. Don't hold your breath. Rather, this is a Leibnizian world in which evil, by exercising its desire for evil, its criminal intent, uh, counters other evil and ultimately diminishes the net stock of evil in the world. So that's what we see here. Uh, It is uh, an an impossible task to try to say that the Commerce Clause in the Constitution allows you to force somebody to buy a product from a private insurance company. It forces you to enter a market you might otherwise never enter. Uh, It's unconstitutional. It's unprecedented. The U.S. federal government, as far as we know, has never forced anybody to buy anything specific so far. I'd be interested to hear any possible exceptions. Uh, And especially, let's look at the political framework. You're being forced to buy something which is shoddy, wretched, from a for-profit insurance company, which has bankrupted itself with derivatives. Nevertheless, they have golden parachutes. They have more derivatives uh, coming. Uh, they have uh, exorbitant uh, dividends for their stockholders. Uh, they have all these terrible, uh, you know, golden parachutes, whatever, for their executives. And you're forced to subsidize that? Well, only a Republican could think of such a thing. And indeed, they did. It's a Republican idea. It's generally ascribed to Senator Grassley of Iowa. Can he qualify as a moderate Republican? I don't know. He looks pretty reactionary to me. But anyway, the idea is that that's what Obama took over. Some would say it's more like the the health plan of Bush the elder. Some would say it's practically identical to the plan of Mitt Romney. Anyway, it's that Obama, as this uh, figure, Wall Street puppet, came up with a piece of Republican legislation rammed it through, and it contains the features of the fascist corporate state. So it is unconstitutional. Uh, And it's hoped that all of the evil people who will look into this, up to the Ratzkabal, Robert Salito, Thomas, and Scalia, plus Kennedy, let them all cut it out, because uh, we don't need it. We don't want this mandate. 